Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a phone sock, phone case, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for this tutorial I'm using three colours and uh, this is paint box cotton yarn. I always prefer cotton yarn because the detail is just so much better. And uh, the best thing about this tutorial is we're going to do it so that it uh, goes to the size of your phone. This is an iPhone and I've tailored it to be size of this phone. So let's begin. Get your first colour and do a little slip knot. So how I normally do mines is I get my yarn, I wrap it around my finger twice, you get the one at the back and you pull it forward and then you get the one at the back and pull it forward entirely and pull it through like so. Okay, so the way we get it to the size of our phone is you chain however long or the width of your phone is. So I believe mine's is 15, so I'm gonna chain 15. And make sure you don't do it too tight because we will be working into this for our foundation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's measure it. I'm quite happy with that. So what you're then going to do to start the base of the phone, which is this, let me just move the phone out of the way is you're going to go not in this first chain but you're going to go in the second chain here not the one on your hook and you're going to work three single crochets one two three okay and now we're going to single crochet in each chain except the last one where we'll work another three single crochets. So I'll show you what this side of your phone case will form. It will for form this turn for the phone case. Right, let's go ahead and do our single crochets on this side. So please keep count from here how many we are going to do. We've got three chains for turning around the bends of the cover. So now we're going to keep count of how many we do. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. So I've done t twelve single crochets, and right at the end one, in here, we're going to work three. So one, and this will be our turning, two, whoops, sorry, and three. 
So as you work around, just pivot your work around so you're on the other side. And now you'll do 12 single crochets around so it reflects what we did on the other side. From here to here, you should get 12, but we're not going to work in that one. When you pivot around, you will work in this one here. So that's where your first single crochet will start. Then you carry on as usual. Until you have 12. Because we don't want a, a wonky phone case. Um, so it's important to make sure you count and in fact, doing the base is the hardest part of the phone case. Once you finish the base, everything else is straightforward from there. So I'm carrying on. And that's my last one, I believe. Right, so I've done 12 on this side, 12 on that side, and you could just do that by counting your Vs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 12. We're going to have the perfect base for a phone case. So when you reach here, you're going to go into the V shape here. and slip stitch into there. Whoops, this might be a bit hard. And slip stitch. So that forms the base. So in our uh, turning, we will have one, two, three, three chains to do our turn. And it should be the same on this side, one, two, three. And the rest should be 12 all the way through your phone case. So now I'll show you how to do round two. Now that we've got our base and got the hardest part of the phone case done with, you're gonna chain three. I'm gonna make this phone case out of double crochets, uh, or should I do half double crochets? It really doesn't matter what stitch you do because it will turn out pretty nice. So this was made of double crochets. So I might just go ahead and do half double crochets. So for that, so depending on which one you do, you chain three for a double crochet, two for a half double crochet. So this is our first one. We've done our two double, uh, this will count as a half double crochet. You go into your next one, which is here, and you work a half double crochet. And you go into your next one, and you work a half double crochet. So then you should have your 12, but make sure you leave a stitch marker here, here even, uh, if uh, you need to mark where you have started. And in fact, I will for this tutorial. I'm just going to get my jar of random threads, get one out. And I'm just going to put my stitch marker. Where did I start here? Through here, so I know this was my starting point. Because because it's the first sort of round, it's quite easy to forget where you started. Um, so it's better to be safe. Right, so we've got our three turning chains. And then we're going to do 12. So into the next one, half double crochet. Into the next one, half double crochet into the next one. You can make this out single crochets, half double crochets, anything you wish. So we should have 12 in total. And if you don't, just make sure you go back and you check out what went wrong. I know this is quite a slow tutorial, but um, I just wanted to make sure everyone understood how to do this one.
because it's quite um, easy to get confused with the foundation, especially if you're a beginner. And I wanted to get that bit spot on. Spot on, spot on. <laughs> right, we are approaching the end. And when you get to the end, you'll come across the three turning chains. So, do your turn. Now also for this round, it's very important to count the total amount you did because that's what we're going to be following throughout this entire phone case. So I'll go ahead and count mines in a second. Once I, look, you can see it's forming the base. Right, into the next one, half double crochet, into the next one, half double crochet, and we'll just keep going. And it's a good idea after this round to check if it fits your phone actually. We don't want one that's too small. And in fact, because it's wool, uh, it does stretch. So even if you've made it just a tiny bit too small, it will fit like a glove. Mm -hmm. So I'm just continuing on here. And then I'll show you how to finish this round. And I'm going to show you the next round. And after the next round, everything is exactly pretty much the same. I will join you back when it's time to change colors so I could show you how to do that. So I'm getting towards the end of my stitch marker. I've done my last stitch uh, for this round. And before I go on, what I would suggest is make sure you count how many you've got all the way around, starting with the first we have a stitch marker in. So I'm just going to count quickly how many I have because this is the number I'm going to follow throughout my uh, phone cover. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So 31 is my magic number, but your magic number will be uh, whatever the size you have decided to do is. So I'm just going to take this out and we're going to slip stitch into there where we started. There we go. And now we're going to chain two for our next round and that will count as one double crochet. So as we go around we will have, well I will have 31 again but you might have a different number. So I'll just show you this round again because every round will be the same as this round. So I'm just going to go into next one. So my chain two counts as one half double crochet. This will be two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So I'm just going to carry on now and pause the video really quickly. And remember, it's just one double crochet in each chain, even if it's the turning. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so I worked all the way around and what I was going to say is when you get to here and you've got your double crochet here, do not work into that stitch over here because that's uh, um, not an actual one. So as long as you've got your count of whatever you did, so mine was 31, I'm going to stop right here and then I'm going to go top of this double two chains that we did and I'm going to slip stitch. And as you can see, we've got a nice little curve going on which is what we should be um, having. 
and I'm just going to get my phone as well. I'm just going to check that it fits nice and snug. And yes, it does. So what I'm going to do is carry on. So please go ahead and make sure this is the same amount of stitches every time. So I'm going to carry on with 31 and you carry on with what your magic number is. And also if you're struggling to find where the end of the round is, when you do your chain two for a double crochet, just put your stitch marker in there and then carry on as usual. We're just gonna check that our phone is still fitting nice and snug in here, like so. And I'm gonna show you how to join our next color and our stitch count. My stitch count has been 31 through every row. So even when we add this one, it will still be 31. So this time you don't have to add here, you can add anywhere else, but ideally I like to keep my stitches where I've joined and started to move to the next row at the back of my phone case so the front looks nice and neat. What I like to do is just go in there and pull my yarn through and tie it right on. And then what you'll do is you'll do your chain two and start your round as usual. Chain two. And then you'll move on to the next space with your stitch that you've decided to use and you'll just carry on. And if you get to the end and you find that you've got a stitch less, you could just add it to the back here. So I'm on to my very last round. I've just done my two double crochets, I mean two chains. So what we're now going to do is just do a half double crochet all around until we reach over on this side and I'll show you how to do a decrease so your phone case doesn't flare out outwards. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. all the way around so when you get to the other side you want to be around the middle center of the phone case like so now that we've reached this side anywhere along here we're gonna add our decrease so to decrease we will Put a hook in there, pull the yarn back, put a hook in the next space, pull the yarn back, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the two, and then you'll go back. Right, to end this round, you're just going to slip stitch into that V space there, so that chain, and just pull it through, and just chain one. We're now going to leave sort of a longish thread and you're going to pull that out and then from the back you're going to pull this towards the front and then from the front you're going to pull this towards the back. So when you turn it inside out this should be your actual phone case. Right, let's put this phone cover to the test. Well, I'm very happy with that. It's turned out quite nice. And if you want, you can always add one more row with a different color. But thank you for so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll be giving this a go. And if you do, make sure you tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see what colors you use. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya.